got your pimp install right here. Pimp install, more like it, she. And then, bam, we got our pretty looking chart here. And now you're ready to go lose all your money on the stock market. Finance family, it's your other brother Adam, get bags. It's late, but we're still working, we're still after it. Today we're gonna to be getting data from the TD Ameritrade API, creating candlestick charts. So if you haven't seen the setup to get the data out of the TD Ameritrade API, go ahead and check it out. Super easy business. Shout out to part-time Larry and Alex Golek. So let's get started on this candlestick business here. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna import all of our modules. But this time, if you haven't pip installed MPL Finance, go ahead and run that up. That's gonna get Matplotlib Finance package there ready for you. And that's gonna be super helpful for you when you're trying to get these candlestick charts going. So check it out. They have a GitHub here, Matplotlib MPL Finance. You got your pimp install right here. Pimp install, more like it, she. All right, and then of course you wanna import that and then you can easily plot some data out. So it takes the pandas data frames. Um, they got these different types of charts, but nobody wants to look at a boring line chart anymore. All right, we're, we're past that. We wanna look at tic-tac-toe charts. All right, so for real, you can add your moving averages and show your volume data. Um, so real simple stuff here, just to keep everything moving. All right, so we pop in here, you got your authentication flow from Alex Golek, and then we got a request to get data. So we're gonna just pull down 20 years of daily data here. And I'm gonna get more into this in the next video, how to get custom data, um, custom data ranges. All right, so everything's the same from the last code, but we got this line here at the bottom. It's gonna allow us to plot our candlestick chart. So very crucial here. We're just taking a subset of the 100 last trading days and then creating a candle chart here. We got a 10 day moving average, 20 day and 50 day moving average. Um, so it's whatever periodicity uh, your data is. So we can go ahead and we'll run that up and then bam, we got our pretty looking chart here and now you're ready to go lose all your money on the stock market. So that's how we plot candlestick data, real easy. It takes one line of code, check the documentation out, super, easy business everybody let's go get these bags <laughs>